Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to add an additional permanent user on the PlayStation 5. Once you're in your home screen, go to the top and click on an account that's already logged in. Then go down to switch user. Then click on add user. Now, if you go to the right side, it says play as a one-time guest. Now this will not keep you permanently logged in. Once you turn off or put your PlayStation 5 into rest mode, it'll log that user out. So what you want to do is go to the left side where it says add a user to this PS5. Click on get started. Agree, confirm. And here you have two different methods to sign in. You can either sign in manually with your email and password, or you can use the PlayStation app with the barcode and do it that way. If you want to know how to do the barcode method, I do have another video on this channel that shows you how to do that. So for now, we're going to use sign in manually. Then from there, go ahead and agree again, confirm. And then here on adjust privacy settings by choosing your profile, you can choose the type of privacy you want. For now, I'm gonna leave solo and focus. Now you can always go back and change these settings, but I'm gonna leave it as is. Now I don't like personalized purchase recommendations or personalized advertising, so I turn those off. And then here you see a notification letting you know that you can actually put a lock on this account if you'd like, and it tells you how to do that. Now I also do have videos on this channel that show you how to put those locks on. Now here, it'll ask you if you want to do a two-step verification. This gives you a lot more security over your account. Now, I'm going to skip this for now, but you could do that if you'd like. And for more security, you can also add your mobile phone number. I'm going to skip this. And there you go. Now that's done. So if I go back up to the top, you can see here that this account, Skater Gamer, which is a secondary account for me, is on this PlayStation 5. If I turn off the PlayStation 5 or if I put it into rest mode and I boot it back up, it'll stay permanently logged in and I can switch between this user profile and my other one. Please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.